Hey everyone, today I have this really great look for you today. Um, just some fun makeup with some crazy contacts. I know they are insanely bright. Um, they look really crazy up close. <laughs> you guys can see that. Um, a little further away, it's not so bad I find. Uh, or even if I'm in natural light, it's not so crazy. So this tutorial is going to be featuring the makeup and the hair. Um, so check it out. And uh, if you'd like to get this look, keep on watching. Okay, so this makeup hair um, together, either in one video or in two separate. Um, I'm going to do the makeup first um, and then move on to the hair portion. So let's just get started. Um, all the things I already put on my face, like my foundation, my concealer, uh, bronzer, a little bit of setting powder, and a little bit of highlighter on the cheek. Um, are all things that I've used before so you can check out my six minute face and they're all in there. Um, so let's just get started on the eyes. I've primed them with my painterly paint pot and um, so let's just get started. So I'm just going to take a little hint of the contact color um, and just accent the eyes with that a little bit um, but I'm just going to do a very neutral eye with a nice liner. Okay so the first color I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using this uh, 88 palette this is the 88 matte palette. I'm going to take the third highlighter color there and I'm just going to put that right under my brow bone right on top of that painterly paint pot it just helps make the colors move a little easier and then we're just going to take a color that's a little bit darker than your skin tone. You can take a flat shader brush. I'm going to use this big huge shader brush just to make it quick and easy and I'm going to take this second color right here and I'm just going to put that in the crease and not on my lid just on my crease and just on the brow bone there just to give a little definition and this big brush makes it quick and really helps to lay the color down I'm going to take the darker color, the fourth one in there that sort of matches this one here so sort of neutral brown and just on the outer corner just to deepen up the side there and I'm just using the edge of the brush like that okay and then you're going to take your blending brush that you used your lightest color with and you're just going to go around the edges of those two colors that you just laid in your crease. Soften them out, blend them out. I'm going to use one matte color just for some shine because that's a matte palette. And this is rice paper, a staple of mine. Same brush. Same brush, just wipe it off. Pack it on and then highlight the inner corner and just under the brow making sure to blend it with those two colors so you don't get a line right there this brush is awesome it's like it places the color and blends at the same time and it makes things really quick grab your favorite black eyeliner This felt tip makes things so easy. I love this liner. This liner is really easy to touch up if you mess up. Take a little bit of a damp Q-tip and just tap off the little spot that you've messed up. Okay, so now that your liner's on, just really fine um, and with a light flick, not too much, only because the contacts are so insane. So I'm going to grab just a angled brush 
Got my angled brush and then just a color green to match that. I'm going to take a little bit of this one here and a little bit of this blue just to cool down that green a little bit. And I'm just going to put it on the outer edge of my eye there. So it's sort of like a double wing but I don't want it to touch the dark one. Cool, okay. Now, grab your fave mascara. Take a little bit of lip chap. Or a lipstick if you want, something that's fairly nude. Or just something to give your lips a little bit of sheen, maybe not too much shine. That way it doesn't take away from the highlighter on your cheeks. That is the finished look. Crazy contacts. So let's get on to the hair portion of this video.